What is up everyone and welcome back to the channel. And if you're new here, hey, I've got something really cool that Joel from Retro Lizards Arcade sent me for a review. The coolest thing about this is that you've got over 50 arcade light gun games in one space. They all play really well. So not only do you get the arcade experience at home, but you get to choose from practically every good arcade light gun game that was made. Now, granted, we're gonna be limited from some of the newer generation titles, but that does not mean that they're not playable either. And of course, this can't go without mentioning the fact that this is a budget build. And when I say budget, I don't mean cheap like cheesy. I mean, like affordable and good. I wouldn't want to spoil your fun, Mr. Cheapskate. So you basically have a Dell Optiplex micro PC that has a Batisera drive on it and it's pretty much plug and play. You could put it in an arcade cabinet, you could throw it in an arcade one up, or you could just set it on your TV stand and play it that way. With the Sinden technology, using the borders, you can also change the size of your picture scape. So it's pretty nifty. I've got a lot of good things to say about this and a few things that I would change if I could. Overall, it's an incredible package. All right, so let's start off with some House of the Dead 2, and I'll get in here and give you guys a quick down and dirty on how to adjust the game settings. You hold down A, which is gonna take you into the menu, and you go to Advanced Game Options, where you can change the resolution, the aspect ratio, and also add filters or overlays. My personal preference is either 640 by 480 to keep the send in box small, or if I'm doing 1080p, to have it in four by three, with the scan line filter on and bilinear filtering on. Just a quick side note, the Naomi version is available and does run, but there are graphical errors and it's more preferable to use the Dreamcast version since it doesn't have any serious issues. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
There are so many good light gun games on this roster. I'm going to be talking about a few more of my token favorites and then we'll be going over the system itself. A few things that are missing and are going to be updated and also pricing. There are so many classic games on this roster. I'm not gonna go through all of them. I am gonna go through a few more, but I did wanna make some honorable mentions like Rail Chase, Revolution X, Terminator 2, Steel Gunner 1 and 2, and all of the versus shooters. Let's take a look at one of the hotter commodities right now, Time Crisis. The game runs as smooth as butter and it looks beautiful in the 1080p resolution with the scan lines. And while this version of the Sindon doesn't offer a pedal, it uses the side button more like the gun con. However, there are pedal options available.
Okay, so one of the biggest things you're gonna notice with this is it feels a little bit like slightly heavier than an arcade one up Sinden uh, or their version of Sinden. Um, but overall, the quality is roughly about the same on the outside. But where you notice a huge difference is with the trigger mechanism. And just listen to this. I mean, it's a, it's a noticeable difference in feeling, sound, and execution. So I'm gonna show you guys a Time Crisis Sinden uh, from the Arcade One Up. Again, the weight of it is about, it's about the same to be honest, but the trigger mechanism is where you notice a difference. And granted that these are two different types of trigger mechanisms, um, but I'm gonna show you something else to kind of give you a better idea of where they cheap out on parts and you don't lose out on that quality when you're buying direct from Sinden. Okay, so here's a gun for IR. Now, this, this is a custom built gun that is basically a rebuild and it uses sensors so you don't have to use the white bars like you do with Ascendant. But check this out. I mean, that trigger is nice. And I'll leave a link to Ray's YouTube so you guys can go check out more Gun for IR stuff. And I will be doing a review on this later on. Specs and pricing for the system are pretty good. For $200, you're going to get an i5-7600T with 16 gigabytes of RAM and a 256 gigabyte SSD with a Batacera shooter build on it. At the time of making this video, these are currently on sale for $190 through the holiday season. The Sinden light gun is sold separately and you order that through Sinden. Those are about $150. So you're looking at a grand total of about $350. Essentially, for $350, you're getting a consoleized arcade system with tons of awesome light gun shooters on it. Joel is constantly refining his builds, and I know one of the things I talked to him about was adding the Dreamcast version of Virtue Cop 2, which he said he's going to be doing. For the arcade systems that don't play games correctly, he always goes with the console counterpart and the best port that he can possibly find that will run optimally. The biggest challenge, which is very small, that you may face with this system is mapping the controls out of the box, but it works with an Xbox controller, so it's going to be pretty simple. And just a techie side note, the inside of these systems are small, compact, and easy to work with, especially if you're swapping hard drives in and out. I'm going to compare this to Arcade 1UP's latest release of Time Crisis because for $350, you can get a gun and a slew of your favorite arcade shooting games to play in one box, and it's very convenient. So if you just want the arcade light gun experience, the price to replay value is a no-brainer. The Optiplex 3050 has six USB slots, four of which are USB 3.0. The 3070 also has six USB slots, all of which are USB 3.0. It's nice to have this many USB slots to use for peripherals with these systems. This is a great deal an awesome bang for your buck, especially with all the games that come loaded onto this thing and ready to go. Thanks for watching guys. And if you enjoyed this video, please hit that like button. And if you're not subscribed, please consider subscribing. Stay safe and until next time, I'll see you guys then.